Shop girls, office girls, factory girls, mothers. They're all playing soccer in the newly established women's league in this city. They play the men's game with only a few modifications to the rules. 20 minutes a side, two subs at any time, and rubber shoes by order, just in case anyone's in the game for kicks. They train two nights a week, coached by a manager appointed to each team by the ruling committee, and there's no doubt they enjoy the games. The Women's League is run by men, a subcommittee of Waterford Football Club Supporters Club to which all the girls belong. So far, 22 teams of 11 are affiliated and more are expected to join. Waterford soccer has always had a great support from women. The glamour of the World Cup is added to this and the real problem here is that there are just not enough pitches. A pity, according to one of the organisers, Pat Sheridan, because to his committee, this is not just a gimmick. A gimmick? This is far from being a gimmick, Bill. Both from the committee end and from the girls, this is a very serious business. I mean, insofar as that the girls have been training two nights a week and have turned up for all league games. This is a serious business here in Waterford. But if we do accept the fact that it is a serious variation of a game, just how long will the enthusiasm last? We're hoping it will last right through the close season. Apart from this 11-a-side league, we're hoping to follow up with a 5 side outdoor and there will be 5 side indoor as well for the ladies. But what happens, or have you reckoned without love? I mean, what happens if the girls start to go steady with their boyfriends? Well, practically all the girls are going steady with boyfriends. We hope all the girls will go steady because it will mean more, more at the games for us. I mean, at the moment, all the boyfriends are turning up to the challenge to the games, and uh, we hope that they will continue to do so. And you make a few quid out of this, of course. Well, we sincerely hope so.